Oh, this part's not even that bad. I don't know what the deal is with that guy. Do you have grenades now, though, from what it sounds like? Oh, oh that's it's, a, it's like a stinger. That's also an AT4 that I'm it holding like the wrong bad. way. I'm holding it backwards? <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> Legend that is stated that one day a Let's Play channel shall be chosen. <laughs> After fucking about 35,000 attempts to record this. Yeah. This has kind of become the mythical Let's That's Play. That's the for logo us. you want. That's the logo I wasn't even aware, <laughs> and the internet's not aware exists. That's right. We can't find anything on According fucking to, um, DMT games or whatever. WNT Dumps. games. Don't ask me fucking. what that means. Um, or what it stands for, rather. Uh, we never try. According to Wikipedia, this game was published by Point... Or not published by, developed by Point of View Interactive or something, which is another company that I'm not familiar with. But remember, they didn't mention WNT there was something at all. Of, like, they just... I mean, the, the Wikipedia article for this game is a real clusterfuck. Like, in the... They give an outline of the characters and jack shit else. Like, the so Wikipedia article about. says that the Trigger Man's name is, like, Ray the Trigger Man Reggiano. <laughs> but then, in the synopsis they give of the plot, it says the player character, who seems to have no actual name, so I don't know what the fuck is going on there. Jesus. Oh, we better turn that down a little bit. But, uh... I mean, WNT games, it, it looks like from the... the now, level. in this level, you don't even get that... You don't get an AK in this yeah, level. Yeah, you get a shitty little handgun, basically. And, uh, I mean, if you played the game like that, then your ass would be grass. You'd be shot full of holes. Cash. That's enough of the demo. Just I don't give a fuck about the demo. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's this just game get is a this. gigantic piece of fucking shit. And that's all you really need to know. If you take one thing away from this video, that should be it. Uh, this is just how not to make a game. Like, you should explain what you said about the difference between this and a game like uh, Superman 64, where, uh... Well, I mean, Superman 64 is endearing in its shitness. Like, kind it, it, of, because it's overtly broken. The biggest problem with this game is that it actually works. Like, there's no horrible game-breaking problems. It's just boring. It's designed really badly. Pretty much. We're just gonna play on normal because it's hard as shit. It's hard as because fucking balls. And we'll get into why it's hard as shit. Um, Alright, gentlemen, uh, I, I hope you have your snacks ready. I see you got some pistachios, yep. some dry roasted pistachios. Yes, I do. You're chowing down on some uh, Sour Patch Kids. Big Sour Patch, big patch, sour patch, patch Kids. <laughs> Sour Patch Adults. You're fucking two times bigger, Holy man. Holy shit. Well, you better enjoy them because you're not leaving this fucking room <laughs> until we've seen the credits roll on Trigger Man. I thought we already had a save game on the memory card for Trigger Man. Yeah, we do. I'm just going to overwrite that. Yeah, we want to experience the whole game. We're like no, I've never, monks. I've never beaten this game before. I don't know what happens at the end. I've gotten what I can only surmise to be halfway through. All right, here's our first character, oh, oh Don. Boy, we gotta fucking Don, do the voices. Don Dangly Colon. Yeah, he's just Don Dangly Colon. Who's Th gonna be Don Dangly? I'll colon? be Don Dangly Colon. All right, do it. Thank you for coming on such short notice. You should have heard by now that the Montague family is moving against us. They blame me for the death of Don Tony Montague. Ton Fucking Montana. Yeah, this is Tony Montana. Tony Montana. <laughs> that idiot! I didn't kill him! <laughs> it's like he's talking to the dead guy. <laughs> How dare you think I killed you! His own greed killed him! But the Montanas, they won't listen. They don't want to face the truth for you! Oh shit, he's gonna be fucking Ray Ruggiano. I'm always available to the Coley Dangan family. Which. <laughs> what would you ask me, Don Colin Danglo? 
You have a certain way of triggering people. I was hoping you would use your powers of persuasion to convince the Montagano family that we had nothing to do with Tony's death. Convince them that would be beneficial if they apologized for their slanderous remarks by fucking shooting all of them. Yeah, that's the part that I really don't understand. <laughs> destroying the casino. Tom okay, Morello. Be, He's gonna be Tom I'll Morello. I'll be Tom Morello. Uh, uh, what sort of voice should I use? I don't know. A stereotypical Italian, like uh, the two of us have been using. We've gotten word that the Montagano family has been smuggling diamonds into the country to finance the new casino. It's costing them a fortune to build it, so most of their cash reserves are gone. They need to move these diamonds fast if they want to fight ants a war against us. It went sort of Stallone at the end there, so, but I don't know what... So wait, their leader got killed and we are trying to fuck with them? Uh, you, <laughs> you know, nobody gives a rat's ass about this game story. It doesn't really make that we much do. sense. Hey, Dangly Colin, you're up. Oh, sorry. We're certain that they're keeping the diamonds in the casino's new high-tech vault. Taking the diamonds should get their attention. So we're killing everyone. Yeah, that'll get a lot of people's attention. I don't think you need to read that. I think everybody read it already. So, it gives you an objective screen, but this game's so linear it doesn't really matter that much. Another thing I don't really understand is it sets this mission up to be like a stealth mission. Like, if you would observe... Oh, Jesus, the aim is way too low. We have a you silence... get into these options a little bit, too. Who cares about... they got eyes, they can read oh, but, but you options. But they can't truly understand what it actually... Uh, like, with the aiming... Well, I'll explain the aiming in a... Especially with the sniper section. In a minute uh, or ten, but... Uh, this isn't really... This game has stealth elements. It has stealth sections, but... I don't know if I should show off the detection. Bang. <laughs> that was the first enemy. This game controls like the controller's a fucking stick of butter in a hot pan. Yeah, basically headshots are one-hit kills. Headshots are one-hit kills. If you shoot them anywhere else, it takes like nine bullets. Might as well be tickling them. I turned the thing down way too low, so now we can't hear. There, that's good enough. I mean, the the dialogue in this game is not voiced, so it's mostly just grunts from when they get shot. So there's a dude in here, if I can remember, I'm going to hit him with the... Uh, oh, the knife. Yeah, in truth, the knife is more effective than the gun in the game called Trigger Man. I'm not going to get that health because I might need it later. Because the knife doesn't rely on the piss-poor accuracy and hit detection in this game. Another thing is, for this, I don't know, what is that, a 92 FS it sort of looks like? You can only carry three clips. And you got to reload with these Polaroid cameras that they keep in a crate. Yeah, they've got... These ammo crates around, you can use them as often as you want. This is a well-designed level, too, as you can see by the one stock painting that you're going to see all over this fucking building. And the same slot machines over and over again. This is the Cesario Casino, in case you haven't noticed. They couldn't even come up with an original name. They just had to Oh, hey, what are you doing, house. buddy? Watch this. So this is about as stealth, yeah, you see the detection meter just popped up in the bottom right-hand corner around the mini-map, so they all know I'm here now. But ducking for cover can be a pain in the ass with this game, because you you can cover yourself. You know what I was honestly kinda? surprised by, and I've never seen before? There's like a little backstab animation, or maybe that's just the regular stab animation, and it looked better because his back was to me. I don't know, man. Um, but like, like you cover, but you're you'll keep like shooting the thing that's covering you, so you can't sh cover and shoot at the same time, at least not effectively. 
And the only reason it's working now is because they could probably still hit you. So, um, I don't really know what all there is to say now, except, uh, what about the reticle? It's kind of big, don't you think? Not as big as Battlefronts, I suppose. Well, it's not as big as Battlefronts, but at the same time, it also has the middle of the crosshair be completely open, so you... I have no fucking really idea what, where you're exactly... Can't really shooting. judge. Like, because, yeah, in Battlefront, they have the little dots, so you know where you're shooting. So, I'm afraid deathly right now because I feel as though I'm getting uncannily good at Trigger Man. <laughs> Remember the first time we played this and it took us about an hour and a half to get past this part? Yeah. That was a real shit show. That was back when we just did a bunch of shitty games. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we we're... We didn't know uh, what we were getting into. I don't know if uh, that makes this a little bit better because we're at least doing it to show it off. Instead of just doing it for our own displeasure. Now, a thing about the aiming in this game is it's not like consistent one to one. Well, not one to one, but it's not consistent analog movement. Sugar Man is just kind of Robert Trulloing uh, all, all around here, crab walking his way through the <laughs> yeah. step stage here. It looks like the fucking steroids took him. <laughs> So, like I was saying about the aiming in this game, it's not uh, like you'd expect. It's like some weird floating point acceleration system where the longer you hold the stick in a direction, the faster you turn that way, so it makes lining up any shot damn near impossible. Any more fucking guys. I know as soon as I go over there, more guys are going to spawn in up. Yep, there they are. Oh, Jesus, that's quite a few of them. I've only got seven. Well, they rounds have left. a very well armed security force. Didn't you hear me read it? <laughs> they weren't joking. This just looks like a big fucking mush fest down that accurate. way. <laughs> looks like I'm looking through a kaleidoscope. You've got to shoot at those pixels. Come on, stand up, you ass. No. It's basically just becoming a fucking. No. No. Jesus fucking. Christ, come on. There we go. Nope. Did I get him or did he... This is whack up security oh, guard. Shit. I've got to make a run for it. and Hopefully I'm not going to get my ass. Oh, this is the shittiest area to be, though. Right here. This is a terrible place to be. Yeah, because they spawn those guys in up there. And you're not really covered and they're hard to shoot. Well, I got enough cover. I just wish I could... Yeah, I need to grab this health. I'm gonna need to fucking skedaddle swiftly. Come on. Yeah, it's like trying to shoot a bunch of fucking meerkats. There's, there's there. gonna be a lot of this in this game, and I'm really looking forward to editing this later because this turns into fucking Trigger Souls Prepare to Man Edition. All the trial can someone, and shit can somebody please tell me how to pronounce that guy from Metallica's name correctly? Because I know I horribly butchered it earlier. The bassist. No, I don't give a fucking Trio. rat's ass about Trio. Metallica. <laughs> I think Metallica sucks. If you like Metallica, you probably suck too. <laughs> Metallica is to metal what Green Day is to punk. It's kind of just a, a competent band, but not really... They're kind of toothless, basically. There's not really any reason why anybody who likes the genre to like them. They're made for a mainstream. Now, if I come over here, can I? Yeah, this is an easier way to deal with this guy. I think yeah, they yeah. should remake this game for next generation consoles. Fuck remaking it. They should just port it. No. They need to remake it. Again, let's talk about how well this area is designed. So Look that guy over there is a mini boss. The one in the red shirt. He's not a very uh, competent but, um, mini boss. You just shoot him a couple times and he dies. He's got a shotgun though. But yeah, this is a very oh, interesting shit. looking, interesting looking stage with these blur, these blank walls with no like artwork or anything or interesting well, designs. Or... To be fair, this stage isn't even that bad compared to the rest of the game. No, no. Wait till we get to the parking garage section. That part's just and 
Oh, that section's not even bad either. I remember where I, the level before the level where I got pissed and stopped playing. You're in like a train depot. Boy, I'm really looking forward to that shit when we get to it. Uh, I don't think I've ever been there for that one. I remember seeing that. Yeah, because it was just you and me. We were doing a training run for this. <laughs> We've how many training runs at Trigger Man have we done? We've been. Oh, it's paying many. off. You haven't died yet. We've been gearing up our whole lives for this moment. This is what we were put here on God's green earth to do. Oh, this part. All right. This part's honestly right. not even that difficult. Oh, wait, I thought we were doing the stealth part, the part where you have to, like... Uh, no, that's after this part. Oh, fuck. I forgot about you. <laughs> Nine! Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, he, he, oh, he just... <laughs> this is the ghost security guard. Come on. Oh, fuck you. So that's the problem with the knife. I'm just going to grab this health here. Not really the most advisable move, but I've got an ace up my sleeve. And the, what the? F <laughs> These guys have got some next level animation canceling tech. He does. He's above all the other security I don't guards. Know where he went? There. Nope. There we go. So the headshot hitbox is like Stupid. a good few pixels above the enemy's actual head. So basically, you have to shoot. I need shoot to add time to here to trigger those guys to come out. Don't trigger them. You just have to. That's what I do. I'm very, a trigger man. You I have just, to respect their differences, Andy. Oh, you know what you I forgot? Sis scum. Listen, you know what I forgot we were gonna do? What? Every time. Remember, we said every time we did an execution, we were gonna make a stupid one line. Oh yeah. Like all right. A big oh, dumb rape joke. This is the trigger man, after all. We haven't been triggering. We gotta, every time we uh, every time we line up a shot when the enemy can't tell, we gotta make a we gotta trigger somebody. All right, I, I got one. Just wait. Just wait. Oh shit! He saw you. This I don't like Jews. <laughs> The wage gap doesn't exist! <laughs> oh, shit, we got the, the shotgun now. I don't know if the... Uh... Oh, come here, you ass clown. I think transvestites are unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna grab this here so I don't need to come back and get it. Don't forget that security card. You'll be marching your ass all the way back here, as we found out. I don't know how you can miss it. It's like the only thing in that room that... Maybe marching our ass back here to get the other health pack anyway. Hopefully not. I love gray walls. Don't you love gray walls, Andy? I do. I love gray Just walls. Just blank gray walls. Oh, this fucking safe. They've got... Okay. Set up the, uh, oh, this set isn't, up the explosion. Nope. Or that, you just use the key card now. But they've got all these fucking people stationed inside the safe. Once we or once we get to it, at least. Your grandmother makes the best Christmas cookies. Oh, wait, that wasn't a trigger. No, it wasn't, <laughs> but that was in the original video, so I thought it was <laughs> worth mentioning. Now, uh, they, they those got... little fucking nipple, nipular things on the vault door, do you think those are just part of the vault door? It certainly looks like it to me. It does, and I mean, we sat here and mashed X on this thing the first time we played for like an hour and couldn't get in. No, the, those are outlines for putting explosives down. And they'll just blow up right in my face, I suppose. But yeah, how would you want to be the guy that's stationed inside the safe? <laughs> yeah, that's another thing I don't quite get. They all kind of... That's a hell of a job. What if they just forget to let you out at the end of the day? They all kind of just stand there, like, confused when the safe blows up at first, too. They're just like, whoo Somebody's coming to rob us? What? <laughs> Come on, stand up. Stand up. No oh, fuck's sake. I think I've I seen Chuck E. Cheese games that are better designed than this. 
Well, me too. Chuck E. Cheese had some fucking cool ass games back in the day. Well, Can we talk about the animation from when they get hit in the head too, and how they just pull a fucking matrix and leap backwards head first? So for a casino vault, this is pretty fucking empty. <laughs> Not a very popular business. Unless those shelves are made out of pure platinum or something. Oh, they have no money. Those fucking diamonds are just like a... a well, I mean, this a... casino, I don't think this casino is open yet, is the thing, because this is like a brand spanking new casino. They well, were moving they these diamonds in. They jam all their this money This is another thing I don't understand. They were supposed to be moving these diamonds, like, into the country to finance the building and operation of this casino. So what the fuck are they doing just sitting in the casino? How about look at the the diamonds are just a fucking just a sheet of paper with diamonds drawn on them really is what they are pretty much it's just potato texture <laughs> you know you can have all the guards in the world but uh, they don't seem to be very trained they're trained very well so it doesn't really matter at that oh Jesus oh Jesus come Doing on a dance make a little low get down tonight then evaporate so you all right um i don't know if i need the health back there but i think i'm going to go back and get it yeah the health's in there i went the wrong way all right there's all right, the saint kara stone this is like the fucking Chia Pet of games. <laughs> <laughs> What's with those random, random ass jail bars, too? Jail bars? Back there. Like, oh, this? Yeah, right there. They couldn't just put a wall there? Apparently not. So now this is, um, the part where the fucking proverbial defecation hits the oscillation. Alright. This is the best bit of dialogue in the game as well, at least to my understanding. All right, we're going. Damn, the Johns are quick. <laughs> I can't be nailed with these diamonds, and if I whack any of these coppers, then that'll bring down too. <laughs> oh my God, then that will bring down too much heat on the family. I better find some place to lay low till I can first sneak off, out. First off. Killing everybody isn't going to bring on any heat, any uh, attention from the police, but killing one cop, that's what's going to get the cop's yeah. attention. Not the d hundreds of security guards. So don't ask me how anybody's supposed to fucking know this or figure this out. Are you supposed to come up here, crouch down, and scoot your ass over into this corner, whereupon the trigger man will say... This is a good spot to lay low for a bit. <laughs> if I play my cards right, I should be able to sneak past them while they patrol. So you don't have to whack any of them. Now, I can't honestly remember how what the fucking protocol is for doing this, but there's one specific way that it needs to be done. If I fuck it up, I might cut it out. I might not cut it out. <laughs> Well, basically, you just fucking sit here and wait, because none of the guards have peripheral vision, apparently. You sit here and wait until fucking Officer Liskowski comes up the stairs. He'll walk over here, and then he'll walk back down. And they take their to... goddamn time walking, by the way. I don't know if you have to follow him, like, as soon as he gets up here. Well, I know there's another guard that's going to go on the other side. Yeah, and that guy's always the one that spots you. So you got to be careful with him. So you let Bumblefuck get down there. Got to stay out of the guy's field. Ah, uh, fuck you, asshole. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, that then, happens a lot. It's an instant fail state if you get caught. He just kind of sits there embarrassed, like, Oh, jeez, you, you just, saw me? Oh! You can just leave it up to your imagination. What happens is the trigger man fucking shoves his spaghetti back into his... What's he wearing there? What would you call that? Uh... Shit, I don't know. In his straps? Gimp suit over <laughs> sweater with the arms cut off. I forgot, does the knife make you faster, or...? Nope. I figured it would have, but I tested that last time I played this. 
and it does not. All right. T attempt number two. So let's talk about how you were defending this level design with the same painting on this wall, those same two paintings over there. And I mean, it's as good as it gets in this game. <laughs> copy and pasted. That doesn't for, mean they're good. I mean, forgive me for having some strange sort of game development <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome, but compared to the later levels, this is fucking the Mona Lisa of level design. I want to know what the hell are in those purple bins next to you. They're supposed to be uh, like change, uh, apparently. Oh, change. That's where Obama lives. Shit, it's change. Or Donald Trump, I guess. Jesus, these are the shittiest cops on So I'm just going to wait and see what that guy does, and I can barely see him because he's blending into the background. I don't know. Are you supposed to wait for both the... I That's what I'm going to say, yeah. Now I'm going to fucking go. Uh, I'm gonna go... That was some fine police work. Yeah, I'm sure there's nobody down that hallway. Must be getting tired. <laughs> Just walk up some stairs and stare at the fucking wall. That yep, I need. that's all, all right. you had to do. Alright, I did it. I don't dare stand up for fear that they see me, but... Well, right, well, I got the animation, so... Yeah, I can't say the trigger man's got a fine ass. <laughs> You know, when that animation played, I shit myself a little bit because I thought it was the fail state animation. I don't like it when the game just takes Halt, control. you don't belong in here! You know what, Trigger Man? I think you need to leave. No, no, we'll be fine. You just have to go. Let's look at our statistics. You get statistics after each mission. Can't what? you, like, throw the knife, too? Uh, there are... there's a separate throwing knife weapon. Wow, 70% accuracy. If this was Counter-Strike, I'd be gold. Doesn't it have, like, a camera on it when you throw the knife? Yeah, that was one of the um, big... Well, where's the game box for Trigger? Uh, right here.